Hey, yes, yeah, so to kick off our uh, 2016 festival tour, uh, we started off at Concert Fest and uh, it was great. It was the second time we've done that actually. Uh, uh, well, this time I'm still a bit traumatized. We had a, a, a few problems with the, uh, with the monitors. But uh, but yeah, we got through, and and in the end, it was a it was a good do, and the people of concert are absolutely well up for it. Fantastic, really well organised. Tonight, just want to let everybody know, 25th of June, we're going to be at Northumbria Live in Blythe. We're going to be having a walk around. Now, if anybody can out glam the Slee Sisters on the 25th of June at Blythe, we're going to be giving away t-shirts, CDs, two weeks free in Paris and a night with Spider. We'll see you later. We love doing uh, the Estonian bike rally. In fact, we love all the bike rallies, but this one was just off the wall. There was men dressed as women. There was women dressed as men. There was women taking the tops off. There was men taking the bottoms off. Completely bonkers. but utterly fantastic. So we're doing uh, Northumberland Live this year and it's the first time we've, we've worked for them and uh, very, very fortunate to, to be asked to play by, uh, by Mel Jackson and uh, we're supporting uh, Scouting for Girls and we're so excited we're all wearing pampers here. Panic stations are go! Uh, and on the day there was 12,500 people turned up and three of them turned up to see the Slee Sisters which was very very nice indeed. Tremendous gig, tremendous. The people of Blythe were just utterly fantastic. Uh, 
uh, from the Sneezy Sisters. It's Chris Peters. Hello. Hello there. Nice to see you. And you. And you. I'm loving the outfit. And I, I said that this was, um, I hope I got this right, this was the sort of thing that Noddy Holder would have worn on top of it's the boxing. Exact, it's actually exactly the sort of thing that Noddy Holder wore. In fact, uh, we actually stole the design off a Noddy Holder Top of the Pops 1976 gig. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Exactly exactly the same. Yeah, and the Reverend, as you probably know, says he's wearing 12 inch heels today. Um, yeah, that is, well, that is something. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. I'm loving that now the, yeah, the, so the heels, and they are something. What are they like to walk in as a bloke? They're lovely. Two, two years of practice around the beard. <laughs> and, and then you've got the ripped sort of tights on. Oh, fine. And then, a, and, and like a waist, a silver and um, black waistcoat and a pink beard. Beard. Uh, uh, <laughs> and the, the beard guns don't wear everywhere, everywhere again. <laughs> It means that you can't shoplift anymore. But, no, well, uh, that's true, actually. I'll be happy with a look like that on Crime Stoppers. You're no, not going to get away not, with it. It's not, it's not great, is it? But, uh, no, it's... Uh, we've actually had to check... We, we all used to wear... When we first started the Sleeve Sisters, I think five years ago... Was it seven years ago? Okay, what do I know? <laughs> seven, year, seven years ago. And we all used to wear the 12-inch heels. But unfortunately, we had that many accidents, and the Rev was the only one who could actually stand on them. So me and Steve, uh, we went down to... Uh, we went down to four inches... But look, that, I mean, they are really sort of chunky heels they're, and all, all covered in glitter, gold and, and silver. Yeah, they're fantastic, you know. And but don't they hurt your feet? No, actually, you kind of get used to them, to be fair, you know. But, I mean, I've got to say, I mean, one, one, I, I mean, I love the 70s. I mean, none of us were born, I want to point out, none of us were born uh, uh, when this, you know, at that time. We're all far really? too... Really? <laughs> what are you going to how very dare you? We're all far too young, I'll have you know. I heard my mother and father singing these songs, and right, that's where yeah, we fine, picked, fair enough, That's yeah. where we picked these bad boys up yeah. from. <laughs> Methinks the artist does protest too much, but hey, whatever, he whatever. Probably, it in fairness, whatever. he probably does, yeah. But you, you've got quite a following in these parts, haven't you, because of all the 70s stuff, and, 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 and the look, because it's a lot of fun. There's a big comeback, or, or there seems to be a big comeback with 70s stuff now, and it has to be said, we're... Uh, well, we're booked now till the end of January, which is great. We're very, very busy, doing a lot of festivals now, which is which is where we want to be anyway. Um, and it seems to work well at festivals, I, I, I think. And, and as you say, I think it's quite pleasing on the eye, isn't it? It's quite well, It's just fun. It? I mean, it I is. saw it. I was walking through the, the crowd, yeah. and, I, and I said on the radio, here's a fella, yeah. if you remember, if you're old enough, of course. Um, we, we, and, we, I think know. we've discussed that. You know, that's, yeah. you know yeah. the, the answer there. And, and, and the whole Slade thing. And I'm sure yeah. people listening will go, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. I remember Top of the Pops from 1970-whatever. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah it's, a, it's a great look. I love the wig as well. The thing is, you think this is a wig? <laughs> <laughs> How very dare you again? Well, look, can, can I, can I pull it and see what happens. <laughs> well, perhaps not this time. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, anyway, look, guys, lovely to talk to you. Yeah, and, uh... This is some of the gear that we use for the Sleeve Sister and the Captain. There's some couple of outfits here we've recently made. Wow, Noddy Holder style suit for him. And his tartan special. With an outrageously pink shirt. Just getting this fabric out because we're going to make some Flary Mary trousers for Spider. Just going to cut him some fabric to make a hippie style headband to go with his gory pants whack it through the sewing machine you can take it, make it simple fit in with his hair Intellectual. Me. Action. 
Yeah, so we're out with uh, Northumberland Live again, uh, but this time we're in Bedlington and we're supporting Johnny H Jazz and Modern Romance. And I've got to say, um, I mean, I remember Modern Romance when they first came out uh, and we met the guys today and what super, super guys. Uh, they often say, don't they, that, you know, never meet your heroes because they'll always disappear, they always disappoint you. But, uh, but these guys were just lovely, lovely blokes. And it was a great day, a really great day again. Uh, it was the first do that they've had like this in Bedlington and there's a super turnout. I think there's about six, six and a half thousand or thereabouts. Fantastic uh, turnout again. Great crowd and hopefully they'll have it on again next year. Brilliant. And that's why everybody wants a piece of the action. Uh, 1970s glam rock band really going back to Slade, Mud, T-Rex, that sort of thing really. All the hot stomping stuff we hope. So it's going to be great. Very very exciting. It's a fabulous turnout. It's great for Blythe. Uh, they've done an absolutely super job. Super sound guys here. Uh, we've got the very famous Rob Sadler on, uh, on on the mixing desk tonight. So the sound rubbish is all his fault, obviously. Uh -huh. However, he's uh, he's worked with some big big names. So we're expecting to sound like uh, we know what we're doing. <laughs> hey, who's the star then? Uh, the Rev. <laughs> <laughs> so the Rev, the, the Rev is because the Rev is the only man I know who, who can walk, who can strut around in 12 inches comfortably. <laughs> the know? Rev. Shall we have a look at those? How about, show us the shoes. Look at them bad boys. Good grief. <laughs> right. yeah. Well, look. Good luck. Hope, you, hope you have a good gig and yeah. uh, thanks very much for speaking to us. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, pal. Bye.
Yeah, yeah so we just done the, the Twisted Sprockets uh, rally in Bolden. Um, we've done it a few times and every time we do it, bar none, it's always a fantastic event. I love doing these biker gigs because, I mean, a lot of them are our friends now. We see the same people all the time. And they really, these guys really, really know how to have a good time. I mean, they, they really do. I'm not saying that drink or drugs has got a part, uh, played a heavy part in this. However, um, it's just, well, you'll see for yourself. Yeah. Looking in the stores, don't bury nobody here.